Welcome to the Bootleg Zones. <laughs> You probably never thought that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles need to be turned into drones of some sort, and most sane people wouldn't. But China did, so we got this. They're not teenagers anymore, nor are they mutants. They're just the Ninja Turtles flight teams. Rolls right off the tongue. Ninja Turtles flight teams. I don't know. Gestures can control the aircraft. Guess we'll see about that. Infrared sensor, automatic suspension, and intelligent identification. I look forward to all of that being true. Bring it to me, flight teams. This is the highest age recommendation I've seen on one of these bootlegs yet with ages 14 plus. On one of the sides of the box, we've got octagons with the four turtles in them, which for some reason start off small with Raph and get large with Don. On the other side, we've got some instructions on how our flying bootleg is supposed to work. Aim it. Press the remote start button. Use hand to induction. Let it flying up and down. You guys are all getting this, right? And finally, functional specifications. Launch the lamp and power switch. And then something in Chinese, which apparently just says remote start or force control start, one or the other. On the back, we've got even more induction model. Gestures can control the aircraft. The most exciting and interesting intelligent vehicle can be automatically suspended in the air. Gestures can easily control its flight. Gestures, aircraft, shoulders, or head shaking can control it. Automatic detection, intelligent identification, infrared ray, induction, levitation fly, also with the blinding light. Wow, I've always wanted a Ninja Turtle that can fly with the blinding light. I also don't really know what's going on with Donatello's face here. Like, is he trying to wink at us? Is this like a wink gone wrong like Lucille Blue? We got our purple USB power cord to go with Donatello, so hey, at least it's color coded. I bet that's just a coincidence though. So we're probably gonna have to charge this dummy up for a bit. We'll see how well that goes. They keep Flight Team Donatello on a pretty short leash here. And while you're charging him up, he's got a nice little crotch light. Maybe that's the blinding light they told us about. So, you know that remote control thing it showed on the side of the box here? It didn't actually come with anything like that, so... Guess we'll see how this goes. All right, I've had this thing charging up for a while now. Let's see if this wants to fly or die. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. Wow. Wow. Whoa! Look at it go! Amazing! <laughs> I believe I can fly! Oh wait! No, I can't! I'm a piece of crap! I don't do anything! But I got a light crotch when you plug me in! Wow! Alright, so I've tried charging this thing for several hours now, and there's still absolutely no response out of the thing. I've tried a few things to see if I could get any response out of the thing, so I tried another RC remote I had, and yeah, that doesn't do anything, which isn't too shocking. I also tried a Bluetooth RC remote app on the phone, which again, unsurprisingly, did not do anything. So yeah, this Donatello will never fly. Here's how it would look, sort of, I guess, if it did do anything. We know the stupid thing is at least supposedly getting power when I plug it in with its cord since it's lighting up at the crotch. So yeah, either it's broken or it just never worked properly. Or you absolutely need that remote that they did not include to get to do anything. And I remind you, this thing is brand new. It's not like someone else had it opened it and lost the remote. It should have been in there. I imagine had it 
worked at all. It wouldn't have worked very well, but I guess we will never know. We will never know. There's no other buttons we can try or anything here. There's just the one on-off switch and the spot to plug the power cord into. Donatello does have like a little receiver on his crotch, which might be for that supposed remote. There's also another sensor spot under his left foot. So I guess we now know why Donatello is making that doofy face. It's because we were silly enough to think this thing might do anything. Wow, Prime! I've invented something amazing! One of those stupid Ninja Turtles, but with blades on his head! Oh, fuck me. Does he fly? No! He's all show and no go! You're, uh, losing your touch, Megatron. I told you we need to workshop this idea a bit longer, Megatron. But damn it, the Vector Sigma Krang! I'm so sick of those blasted turtles leaving Energon pizza all over Cyberdon! Cyber? What? Did you seriously just say Cyberdon? Uh. <gasps> Get me out of here, Donatello! Ah! Why? Why did any of this happen? Bad, bad, Ginger! Well, if that isn't just the exclamation mark on this shitty day! <sighs> you deal with it, Rodimus! Oh! Oh! Prime! This isn't fair! You deal with these things so much better than me! I don't want to do this. Oh. Come with me, Donatello Bot! Let's fly! Awkward! Teenage minds abroad, eager, but you but. Yeah, just for slightly over 30 seconds, my Greek Turtles tape gets interrupted by some random commercial that someone seemingly accidentally started recording. Or maybe they just hated Splinter and wanted to interrupt his speech. Hard to imagine hating Splinter, though. I hate Splinter. Look out, everyone! It's a hyper realistic of Sonic! This is so. Hyper realistic. It's almost like it's really here. This is scary stuff. Scary that there's actually bootlegs of Sonic.exe stuff. <sighs> anyway, let me know in the comments how many seconds this intro was because it's sure to be a very scary number. Don't get too terrified, guys, because you've actually gone back in time since the intro, and Sonic and Tails are dead! Wrapped in plastic! So, uh, yeah, this is the absolutely stunning packaging that these plushies came in. Clear plastic baggies. Well, we finally got our scary Sonic and Tails out of the plastic. Let me know in the comments how many seconds that exactly took. And then let me know in the comments if you like letting me know things in the comments. Seriously, I just, I don't know what to think anymore of the human race now that we're at the point that Sonic.exe bootleg plushies are a thing. I tell you though, these black eyes with the red dots are the scariest thing in the universe. This did not need to happen though, just... Why? Why is this real? I'm terrified beyond all rational thought. And then the plushies stared at me for 6.66 seconds and I pooped my pants and then wrote down how many seconds it was. Friendship is over with evil tales. Sonic.exe has crashed. And that's no good! Ah! So yeah, our stupid Sonic.exe doll is just... I guess exactly as he was described in the silly tale that he was born from. He's got 
blood coming from under his eyes, the black and red dots, he's got bloody gloves, maybe this is some blood by his shoes, I don't know. He's just the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. I am so terrifying. Whoa, look at me. Sonic.exe. Whoa, time to spin dash. And this is our hyper realistic evil tails doll. Uh, he's got his two tails, like you should. His little lag tag. He's got blood coming from his eyes and on his gloves, scary tails. So this guy is like either from one of the uh, several evil Tails dolls, creepy pastas, or this is just supposed to be Tails after he dies in Sonic.exe and loses all his color. Like Murky and Lurky from Rainbow Bright got to him. Oh no, Tails! When will Rainbow Bright save you? Ah, 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 ah! I've stolen Tails' color! This is the hyper realistic horror! Oh! Sonic! Save me, Sonic! I'm not gonna save you because I'm evil and hyper realistic! Ah! But I love you, Sonic! And I'm showing very complex emotions in my little sprites! It's like I'm scared, but trying to hide it, but also trying to remember where I put the remote! Shut up, Tails! Ah, no! Oh, the tubes don't! <sighs> Cause Sonic.exe is the Undertaker! Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> so Sonic.exe has a butt tag that says CE made in China. And that is all. Nothing on the flip side. The evil Tails doll straight from our Sonic R based nightmares has a little bit more in his tag with a warning! Because this guy is hyper realistic! The flip side of the tag lets us know that this is all new materials. This is not a rerun, and you know, it's made of crap and made in China, CE fresh. Not really. Our Sonic.exe plushie is you now fairly tough stuff. He's got a bit of that kind of beanie material in his arms and legs. His over described red and black eyes from the tail are actually kind of crooked. Cause he's a villain. Whoa, he's so crooked. And he's got nice pointy teeth for his super evil smile where he declares he's a deity. <laughs> What's the scarier Sonic though? The Sonic.exe plushie or ugly Sonic from the Sonic the Movie trailer? Let's see if our bootleg tails can fly. Ah, I need to escape, evil Sonic. Ah, my tails, no. This video is no good. Oh shit. I'm gonna spin dash you tails. This is what it's like, though, when poorly written stories on the internet are brought to life by bootleggers. This is the world we live in. Yeah! Thumbs up, bloody glove! <laughs> Sonic.exe has stopped working. <laughs> As I look at this tail stall, I just want to press the right keyboard button as hard as I can so that he can escape the horror of Sonic with his black and red eyes, even though Tails also has black and red eyes. Oh no, this is my greatest nightmare. <laughs> what do I do? How do I stop playing Sonic games? <laughs>
You can never stop playing Sonic Games, Tails! Ah, oh, clothesline! From hell, because I'm Sonic.exe! And that's a move from an evil wrestler! <laughs> but I will be Business Sonic in my next gimmick! <laughs> But now it's time for Sonic.exe's truly evil moment. Sonic.exe's in the building, but whose side is he on? No! No! What has he done? What has he done? You fans can stick it. You can call this the new world order of professional creepypastas, brother. Ah, Sonic.exe has turned his Back on everyone! No! Why is this turning into wrestling stuff? Shut up, Attitude Bear! Murky was indecisive about how he felt running through this orange void, but he tried to play it cool. All of this was on his stupid pixelated face when suddenly Sonic.exe showed up and hit him with the stunner! <laughs> So, our bootleg Sonic.exe and Tails.exe, I guess, plushies have a lot in common with that bootleg Garfield plush I got, as these things are littering Amazon right now. So, yeah, just like with the Garfield ones, there are a bunch of listings on Amazon from sellers with varying degrees of nonsense usernames. You can even pick one of these up off the Walmart website. I love that a bunch of these listings have the Sonic.exe plushes crappily photoshopped with children holding them like little kids would love these crappy internet horror story dolls. These are the perfect or best gifts for the kids, especially for Christmas. There are even a few different models of Sonic.exe plushes. Some are almost the same. One, I guess, is the Sonic Underground version of Sonic.exe as he comes with a mic. And another one is the Sonic X version, apparently, as he's got X eyes and a big X scar across his chest. There's a variation of Evil Tales as well, where he still has color and is more closely based on the Evil Tales doll from Sonic R with a little dongly thing on his head. I love some of these stupid photos too have movie Sonic reacting to the plushies. If internet crap is getting toys now, where's my bootleg toy? I mean, so far all I've gotten is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I love on the entry I bought, they apparently used a template meant for clothing as it states, make sure this fits by entering your model number. Can't wait to wear my Sonic.exe plushie. Sonic EXE plush blood. The classic Sonic bloody plush comes with new Tails plushies from Sonic. Do you have the courage to challenge him? The Blood Sonic EXE and Grey Tales from the new Sonic game seem horrific. Clearly written by someone who doesn't have a clue what this actually is and is a bit confused. You can also use Sonic EXE stuff as a soft pillow. It's great to hold it during a nap or sleep. Let Sonic.exe plush toy decorate your life. Mmm, think I'll pass. And while these executable programs of Sonic and Tails might try their best to be evil, we know the true face of terror. Hey, you know that Garfield and Sonic team up you've been hoping for? Well, just take a look at this! It's bootleg Sonic and Garfield! Oh my god! I am God! I believe you mean I am Sonic. Oh, shit! Ah! I am the real face of terror. And I don't like Mondays. I was gonna give this Sonic plushie, like, perfect marks and quality, but there's, like, a loose string here, so it's gonna have to be drastically reduced. Can you imagine, though, if these plushies suddenly showed up after you played a really lackluster computer game where all you mostly did was press right on the keyboard, I would never sleep again.
But just look at those cute triangle smiles. Can't stay mad at those guys. I'm a pretty big fan of the Sonic games. I like the modern ones, but also the classics, which is why I decided to play the dumbest Sonic game ever, Tales in Boring World. Wow, there sure is nothing going on in this world, but I look scared with a hint of happy. <laughs> Let's continue to walk right and have nothing happen for five minutes. <laughs> nothing is happening. But then suddenly Tails was a hyper realistic with blood coming from under his eyes. I just, I wanted to reach through the screen and give Tails a hug because I'm an idiot. But then suddenly Sonic appeared with his back to Tails like he was ignoring him. I was scared beyond all rational thought for Tails. Why would Sonic ignore him? And why would his eyes be black with red dots? Sonic! Shut up, Tails! Oh no! Two stone! Psh, ah, choke slam! I couldn't believe that Sonic did those moves to poor, sweet, precious Tails! He then proceeded to pin him when Evil Garfield came down to make the count! One, two, I'm tired, but... I guess I'll still count to three, just because I hate John. Three! After sitting there watching a black screen for 35 minutes, I truly knew Tails was dead. And then he showed up in the afterlife where Wabu was in a canoe. Wabu, what are you doing here? Oh, shut up, Tails. I've had to take a side job burying people across the river sticks to the underworld. Now get on, because Sonic pinned you in a first death match. Oh, shit! Think we lost a pumpkin weenie, but who cares? I never should have trusted you, Wabo! What the hell is this bullshit? Why is Pumpkin Winnie in bootleg zones and not me? Why do I have to be my radio? Such is life, Halloweeny, or in this case, death. Oh no! A hyper realistic of Sonic! He looks like he is confused with a hint of he needs to use the bathroom. Wow, I can't believe you got exactly the emotion I was trying to go for, Halloweeny. You're the best. You're not, though. Get out of here, Pumpkinweenie. Sonic.exe is not compatible with Pumpkinweenie.exe. Well, I've gained new appreciation for that stupid pasta based story. Well, you'd best start believing in creepy pastas, Halloweeny, cause you're in one. What a weird cast of characters I'm stuck with here. I hate these. I mean, I love these. Just like I love Pumpkin Winnie. What? No! We are the best of friends. Oh, he fell over. He's dead. Take him to the underworld, Wabu. Yeah, sure. Okay. Watching, and we'll see you in the morning. M A G A. Right, 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 right.